Hi, I'm Brandon Starks, Executive Director of the Brumos Collection. We'd like to welcome you to today's installment of Inside the 59, where we try to give some insight into the people, the history, and the cars that make up our collection. The Bugatti Type 35 was one of the most significant race cars of all time. It amassed over a thousand wins throughout the 1920s and was a real workhorse. While these cars were workhorses on most racetracks, ours is unique because it was only raced once, 16 years after being purchased new. So that leaves the car in an original state that's very uncommon, which creates certain challenges for us as we try to care for and maintain the car. It's undergone an extensive amount of work over the last couple months. We've taken the body off, done some body repair, returned it to its original color, and done some deep maintenance to the car. Aaron's gonna explain a little bit more about what he's done. So the whole logic and reasoning behind doing the Bugatti project was we started off with basic maintenance and then realized that the engine needed to be resealed. It had some major oil leaks that needed to be taken care of, along with the paintwork at the time was incorrect and we wanted to return it to what we believed to be the original paint color. And so within this process, the car was torn down to fix leaks and at that time we decided, okay, we're gonna go ahead and do a partial restoration on this vehicle. So this was actually the first time I've torn down a Bugatti Type 35. And I decided that obviously the body work had to come off first. So I started there and started from the rear end and worked my way forward, take disassembling each part as I go, because the end result is I had to get the engine out. And to do so, it had to be slid out. So everything behind it had to come out first. And then it all went from there. So my original plan for this car was to do the complete opposite of what I did when I disassembled it and start at the front and just slowly assemble the front axle, slide the engine in place, the transmission. Some of the bumps I found along the way were certain pieces of hardware needed to be corrected or uh, maybe remachined or fine-tuned and fitted better than what they were previously. Another thing that kind of was a little bit of a bump in the road as we decided we wanted to clean all of the hardware and freshen all of that up. We decided it would be best while we're in there to go ahead and clean everything up, get rid of any rust or corrosion. And so that set us back a little bit, but once again, that's one of those things that we strive to do is make things better and preserve that history so it doesn't continue to decay. We were able to use the dry ice blaster to clean areas without any abrasives. And so that's really neat on the engine because it's old aluminum and it has certain metal work in it inlaid in the metal itself and you don't want to mess it up you don't want to lose that um, because it's true artwork that bugatti you know had designed in on these engines and so we're able to clean all of these surfaces perfectly and they shined right afterwards and so you just throw a little bit of polish on there and it's perfect one of the neat things we found when taking the car apart which really ended up helping us out with the paint was we found original paint and we were kind of worried when we started the process of whether or not we would. And the deeper we went, the more original paint we found on little pieces of hardware tucked in nooks and crannies that we know no one in the past would have taken the time to clean or get to. So we really felt we had the positive color. And so that was neat to connect all of the dots between photographs and stories and timelines and to really find the evidence in self. So you're kind of connecting, you know, all the lines of history to come up with a complete story so you know you're doing the right thing. Well, we started on the car. Um, first thing we had to do was try to determine what the original color was. And um, about half of the frame on the car was still virgin. We polished that up in a few spots with compound, and took it over to the paint store, had them match the paint. Then we took and tried different sheens on it, uh, putting flattening agent in the paint, trying to get it to, to match, wanted the body to match the, the, the frame. And that's kind of when we went from there. We had to remove a lot of body filler from damage from the past. Having to do things like tape up all the rivets to where they, they had been filled over before. Somebody had white Bondo, so now we're stripping all the Bondo out from around the rivets and then having to put masking tape over it. That was a challenge, but it was, uh, it was an interesting challenge. 